Hello everyone, today our topic is how to create wave invoice from Google Sheets. So here our objective is that whenever we add new details of purchase in our Google Sheet, then first we want to find that customer in wave, then we want to create a new invoice in wave. For this, we will create an integration between Google Sheets and wave. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use trigger and action. In trigger application, we will use Google Sheets. In action application, we will use Wave. And how I am going to create this integration, for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And here I have Wave and my Google Sheet. So here I am adding the details of purchase in my Google Sheet. And here, what I want is that whenever I add a new details of purchase in my Google Sheet, then it should use these details and first find that customer in wave and then it should create an invoice for that customer in wave and i want this to happen automatically so i have to create an automation and integration between google sheets and wave for this i will open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take me to this landing page of pabli here we have two options sign in and sign up for free if you don't have any account with pabli you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. Here, these are the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I will click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a new workflow. For that, I'll click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to create wave invoice from Google Sheets. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. And it will take us to the most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we will first set up our trigger. And our trigger application will be Google Sheets. So I will search for that. I will select this. I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this tab. And new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'll select this. And I have to connect my Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. For that, I need to use this webhook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. And I need to follow all these instructions to connect my accounts. So I will first copy this webhook URL. Now I will go to Google Sheets. Here I will go to extensions. And in extension I will go to add-ons. And I will click on get add-ons. And it will take us to the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here I have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. And I will see this extension. So I need to install this. I have already installed this, so I will close this. I will go back to extensions. I will go to Pabli Connect Webhooks. And here I will click on Initial Setup. Now we have two options here, Webhook URL and Trigger Column. So first I will paste that Webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect. And we have Trigger Column here. So the Trigger Column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Webhook URL. So here in my spreadsheet, we can see we have this column J, which is my last data entry column. So I will type J here and I will click on send test and I will click on submit. So my setup is configured successfully. Now I will close this. I will go back to extensions. I will go back to public and Webo, and I will click here on send on event. Now what this will do is that whenever I will add new details of my purchase in my Google Sheet, then it will send that data automatically to Pabli Connect. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see we have this response. 
So the trigger column is J and we have this spreadsheet name which is wave invoice details. So the product name is this infox 9i and this is my product ID. This is item quantity which is 1 and we have item price and we have invoice title which is a sale and we have this invoice date and due date and we have this customer email which is demo at the rate pablitudes.com and we have the customer name. Now what we are going to do is we are going to search for this email address as a customer in our wave account. For this we will set up our action and in my action application I will search for wave. I'll click here. Now I will give an action event so I will open this tab and and get customer by email will be my action event. So I will select this and I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with wave. Now to allow access so I will click here and I have successfully connected my account. Now I have to select my business which is Pabli and I have to give the customer email. So I'm going to map this email from the Google Sheet response. So I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tab and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I'll click here, I will open this response. I will find my email address. So this is the email address that I want to use. So I'll select this. I will click on save and send as to click button. And here we have this details of customer. So we are going to use this business ID of the customer and we are going to map this further while creating an invoice. So let's add another action step and I will click here on add action step. Here I have to create a new invoice for the purchase. So my action application will be wave. I have to give an action event. Create an invoice will be my action event. So I'll click here. I will click on connect. I have already logged into my wave account so I'm going to click on select existing connection and I will click on save. Now I have these details. So my business is Pabli. Now I will map my customer. So for that I will click here on map button. I will clear this and I will use this response of wave. So I will open this and here we have this data business customer ages not ID. So this will be our customer ID. So I will select this. Now I have to map line item product ID. So for this I will use the same step. I will click here on map. I will clear this and I have product ID in my Google Sheet response. So I will open this Google Sheet response. I will find my product ID. So this is my product ID. So I will map this. Now I have to give an item description. So I will click here. I will open this Google Sheet response. and. Product name will be my item description. So I'll map this. Similarly, I will map the item price, item quantity, currency, invoice date, and I will scroll down and I have this another required detail which, which is invoice title. So I'll map this to. Now I will map this due date. Now I'll scroll down. Now we'll click on save and send test request button. And here we have the response. So we have this value. So this means I have created this invoice in wave. So to check this let's go to wave. Here I will open this sales and payment. I'll go to invoices and I will click here on all invoices and here we can see we have this new invoice here. So I'll open this. So my customer name is demo user and the amount is 5999 and this is due on this date and I have created this invoice just a minute ago. So this is my invoice. So this is built to demo user and this is the email address demo at the rate pablitudes.com and this is the amount and this is the product name which is infox 9i and this is the quantity. So we have all these details in my Google Sheet and I've added this 
automatically in my wave and I have created this invoice by the details in my Google Sheets. So my integration between Google Sheets and wave is working successfully. And with the details of the purchase in my Google Sheet, I have created this invoice. So my workflow here is working successfully. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and let's summarize what we did here. So first we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was Google Sheet and our trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then we have set up our action and our action application was wave and our action event was get customer by email. Then we have set up our last action and here our action application was wave and our action event was create an invoice. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.